only what I learned of you. That men will come together and bless your holy name. Amen. Yes, God. Yes, God. He has truly and he is a blessing to be in your midst today. Amen. Yes. Amen. I tell you, the devil don't stand a chance. Because if the word of God is going to run him off, he's going to go boogity, boogity, boogity. <laughs> yes, yes. And that is what we need in our life every day. Yes. And you no, know, it's, it's, it's just mind blowing on Sunday morning to feast in the word of God. Amen. Right? Just, just imagine what it would be like if Every day was like Sunday morning. Huh? I'm just, I just mean God is all and in all and above all and through all. If we could just harness him, that he would have an impact on our lives. Every day. Wouldn't it be something? Yes. Amen. Huh? Yes. I don't believe the world would be in the shape it's in. If we, we, uh, we'd have some family members that would be the pull they act together. Amen. Yes. If he had the impact, if this building was packed with our family members and our friends and our kindred, just our, yes. our employees, our associates, this world would be a better place. Amen. 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 But, but don't worry about it. Just take it like it is because God is still God. in control. Amen. Amen. He's still in control no matter what. You may think, feel, or ask. God is still, that heaven and earth still belong to him. Yes. Amen. Uh, you may claim it if you want to, but he's going to one day stand on it and declare it's his. Amen. 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 I would like to... Uh, Thank you for allowing me to be here this morning. But it's just, you know, I, I've been hearing frustration. The scales of justice and righteousness has been floating this morning. Amen. It's just been up and down, up and down, up and down. But it all came together. Amen. 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 That we should trust God with our whole heart. Yes. Amen. 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 Let us take a brief look into the book of Galatians in its fifth chapter. And his first verse, amen? amen. So all tie in. I, you know, God got a way of doing stuff that we may not we may not understand, but God got a way of putting things together, amen? Amen. Yeah. He's got a way of doing things that is beyond our thoughts. I believe that he is. He's above us, amen. Amen. He can do things. Above or anything that we can think or act. God can increase stuff that we ain't even thought about yet. Amen? Amen. Amen. From the book of Galatians and this fifth chapter. Galatians. Galatians. Yeah, some of that, some of that uh, good stuff. Amen? All going through the ranks and talking about what God has done and is doing. <laughs> Amen? Galatians, fifth chapter, and verse 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Yes. I, I, I want you to hear him say, stand and do it quick. <clears throat> stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. And be not entangled again. Listen, he talked like you've been there before, amen? Uh -huh. With the yoke of bondage. <coughs> right. Amen? Amen. amen? Let us thank for a subject entangled by choice. Yeah. Thank you much. See, see, Christ has made us free. So if we tied up and tangled up in, 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 in the avenues of the world, it's by choice. Amen. Amen? Amen. Because Christ has made us free. Yes, you know, and, and, and I used to, I, I, I just constantly talk about the old man when he, he, he would always say all the time, say, I paid your bond and got you out of jail. Mm -hmm. 
And guess what? You went and broke back in jail. <laughs> huh? Hey, you know that don't make no sense. Amen? Huh? But Christ has made us free, and, and it's, it's so bountiful, the liberty that we have is it, so bona fide in Christ that we take it for granted. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. But to, 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 to let you know that Christ has made us free. He has made us free. Let us bow our heads for a moment. Thank you, Lord. Our Father, we thank you. As we look down through the ranks, Master, all the way back into Israel where they tried to fix things themselves. They tried to work it out for our example, Master. This man and this woman that you had promised a child. Tried to fix it themselves, Master. Much as like today, Master. We ask you right now to fix our hearts and fix our minds that we will be obedient to your will. That we will carry out the things according to your word, Master. That you will lead and guide us in all truth and righteousness. That we will lean not to our own understanding, Master. But we will acknowledge you in everything that we do, Master. No matter what we're doing, we will acknowledge you, Lord. And we will plead your guidance that you will direct our path. Teach us, Lord, and we'll be well taught. Lead us in your pathway. In Jesus' most holy and righteous name. Jesus name. We praise and we thank you and exalt you forever and evermore. Amen, 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 amen. and amen. amen. Pastor Bowman, to the minister that make up the rosters, dig it every one of this, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Do not be entangled by choice. In the things that you see going on around you, don't, don't, don't take no part in them. Don't be involved in them. If they're not of Christ, then just walk away. Don't be entangled because this is what happens. There's, there's, there's an adversary that's loose. You know that, right? Amen. 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 God had an adversary that's loose. And he has professed not only to you and I, but to God himself. That I've been to and fro in the earth. And I've been seeking. I'm looking for whoever I can devour. With that kind of knowledge, you prepare yourself. You, Pastor Bowman gave an example this morning about going to Vietnam and all of the training and stuff that they went through to prepare them for the war that they were about to face. But sometimes some people are overconfident mm -hmm. in, in what they're going to do, not really weighing out that God is God and he's God all by himself. Amen? Amen. And, and when, when the battle comes and the things start coming that somebody had told you about beforehand, Come on. and now you find yourself in the midst of a situation that you are not prepared for, because you didn't pay attention, because you didn't listen, you just kind of let the word of God brush you lightly. You just, you know, you took it as, you know, they say in the world, nonchalant, like, you know. It was, you know, you know, I've been hearing this stuff for what? I'm 40, 50, 60 years old, and I've been hearing this stuff, and it, it, none of it has come to pass as yet, you know. So it may not have the importance that they place it on it. See, see, Pastor Roman is preaching every Sunday, but what he's preaching about, I, I hadn't seen it just yet. But he's saying it's going to come to pass. So, so I'm just going to be nonchalant about it. I'm going to still sleep with whoever I sleep with. I'm going to still lie whenever I want to lie. Just do the things that whatever I want to do, 
You know, because it, you know, it's not as important. It can't be as important as they make it sound. Amen. Amen. It's just no, no way it can be. Everybody, I know some folks doing way worse than me. Say so. Huh? Oh, uh, uh, what? I learned a new word the other day, and I never thought of it like that. But I know some men got a lot of side chicks. <laughs> no, they, they, they got all kind of, you know, good looking women with hair hanging down, looking like Beyonce. It's a lot of side chicks in their life. So, so, so. The little stuff I'm doing, it can't be that much, amen. <laughs> but, but the writer says, don't, don't let yourself be entangled with that yoke of bondage. It's not going to set you free because you just keep on indulging in, in the things. Don't take it so lightly that when God has told you no, you can say, yes, I can. <laughs> when God oh has God. said, I'm going to punish you, you can say, I'm going to miss that because my God is, he's a loving God. He's a kind God. He's a sweet. Oh, he's all those things. Amen. Oh but, but do you know anything about the wrath of your God? All right. He, 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 he's God. He, you, can't, you can't think for him. You can't counsel him. That's right. He's God and he's God all, all by himself. Yes. You not big enough, strong enough, wise enough, crafty enough to get over, around, or through him. All right, you man. have to come to him in order to get to the other side. Jesus said it like this. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man. Don't make no difference who you are or what you think of yourself. No man comes unto the Father but by me. You're going to have to go through him. And he's all knowledge. Some people say he's all knowing. Yes, he is. Huh? He's Alpha and Omega. He's the first and the last. He's the beginning and he's the ending. How you going to get around him and you can't hardly pay your light bill and your water bill? You running short on money every week. You wonder how you gonna put gas in your car, and you think you can outsmart God? <laughs> you ain't outsmarted the carnal things yet. How you gonna get by the spiritual being of God? You ain't got nobody in your family that's stable enough where they don't have to have a job or be out there trying to make a hustle. I heard the young lady say the other day she gonna get on her a high price corner. <laughs> uh, in other words, she, she going to get what she need to get, but she's going to get on the high price corner. She ain't going to be no cheap corner one. So, so we, we, we can figure out all these things in the world. So we need to figure out that God is God and he's God all by himself. In other words, I have to succumb to him. You know, you know, we, we hear people telling you every day that God is going to succumb to you. And they say, well, if you give him the money that he asks you for, he's going to do so much for you. Yeah, he's going he to give it right back to you. If you're just, if you're just trusting like that. But the, the God that I serve looks at not your pocketbook. Your pocketbook ain't big enough for him. Say that, now, say that. He, he looks at your heart. He deals with you according to your heart. So when you know that God is who he is and he is a rewarder to them that do what? Diligently. Diligently. I mean, you're working your tail off trying to do what God said to do. Day in and day out, the folk calling you crazy. Because you're trying to serve a true and living God. Amen? Amen. You look real stupid to some folks Amen. when you love them and they hating you, misusing Amen. you and abusing Amen. you, and you still loving on them and doing for them and taking Amen. care of them like God told you to do. They think you crazy. Amen. But, but you know how, 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 how these, these they, they, they did? They just took it on themselves. God said, look, I'm going to bless you 
above all the nations. I'm going to do for you above all. He said, look, you might be past age, but I'm going to bless you with a son. Huh? <laughs> and, and, and look, when, when God gave him, the, when God gave him the promise, he said, "Oh, my my wife, man, she she about done for. She 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 about to pass age. I believe the words he you. Don't question me if I said I was gonna do it. Come on." No matter what it looked like on the crown side, mm -hmm. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. Amen. Because I'm God. I can do all things. So, so they, they, they went on and they, they did what? His wife said, look at him, baby. I know God going to bless you, but it's a younger woman over here. You go, you go lay with her. Uh, God going to give you a son. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said he was. He was obedient to his wife. He went and laid with her, amen? Yeah. And God blessed him with a son. Lo and behold, his wife conceived in an old age <laughs> and bore him a son. Uh -huh. And God broke it down like this. Say, look, say that son of the bond woman uh -huh. Won't be as with the son of the free woman. See, look, you tried to work it out yourself. All right, man. Yeah. Huh? Right. You tried to work it out yourself. Now, I'm going to bless that boy that you got over there by the barn woman, but he's not going to be out with the free. Uh huh. Huh? Now, we, we, we come to focus up of our lesson. Our lesson was talking about the grace and law. How can you get these two together? How can you make them work together? There's no mercy in grace, in, in, in the law. There's no mercy in the law. The law says your head be cut off, your head be cut off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that, and that is it. But God worked out a, another plan before the foundation of the world, and it's called grace. Yes. Amen. Now, now you, you can choose. And you can try to put this yoke and this bondage around the neck of your brothers and sisters. Look, and, and generation after generation have proven that no one has ever been able to keep it. Yes, sir. No one has ever kept it until Christ came. Amen. Suffered and died on Calvary Hill. And he got in that 17th chapter of John and he started talking about glorify me. Because I done did what you asked me to do. <laughs> and now as brothers and sisters in Christ, we're going to glorify God by doing what Christ asked us to do. Pastor Bowman read it this morning in Sunday school. <laughs> did you not know it? Were you not paying attention? Did you, were you nonchalant about it? When he said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Yes. Did you hear that this morning? Have you not heard that before? If you love me, you'll do what I said for you to do. Verbatim. You don't, you don't have no choice in the matter. You can't fix it. You can't modify it. Nothing you can do with it. <laughs> you have to untangle yourself out of the things of the world. Yes. Pull yourself free with the liberty that Christ has given unto you. And that's what he's expecting. He's not accepting anything else but what he is expecting to have. God is looking for people to be perfecting themselves. What do you mean? Make yourself mature in Him. Keep yourself to a higher standard than, than, than what the world do. They, he, in our lesson, they talked about Jews and Gentiles. They talked about uh, 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 Gentiles in, in, in Israel. The difference in separating themselves for God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Christ told them that I sanctified myself. Yes, he did. I sanctified myself that 
they can be sanctified. You can be sanctified. <laughs> huh? That you can be set apart and fit for the master's use. Yes, Amen? Yes. Amen. This, this is what God is, is pulling us to, tugging us to, striving us to. Yes. But all this conglomerate of stuff that's going on in the world around us and in our neighborhood that we mingle up in and tied up in where we can't serve God with our whole heart. These things are not so to be. That's right. Amen. The writer said in our lesson, for you to stand fast. He acted like there was an urgency. Mm -hmm. yes, it is. <laughs> to you get into the right position. Get in the right position. Seek after him. Knowing what your purpose is in life. Yes, God. I, I know it, look, it looks good, all the stuff that the world's doing. They, they prospering in it. Some of them making bukus of money. Mm -hmm. I, I, I tell you, I, I, I've been out in the public a little more the last few years than I've ever been. I'm usually working back home, working back home. But I see little children that when, when, when they turn on the music, high volume, <laughs> huh? Man, you don't, you don't, you, 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 you wouldn't imagine the move they got. Right. Huh? They know some stuff. What if you was turning on the word of God to them at that age? Say so. I mean, they, they, they tied up from, from, from birth, but they don't know no better. You got grown folks, mothers that say they love their children. But they tangling them up so bad into the world and what's going on in the world that they won't, they, when, when it comes time somebody to say something about Jesus, them kids ain't paying you no mind whatsoever. Right. They don't have a clue of what righteousness and justice is because when they came into the world, they've been here ever since they, they was in the cradle in the back seat of the car with the radio blasting in the front. That's all they know. And then you got nerve enough to point to them and ask why you would and slap them upside the head when they doing stuff they ain't got no business. <laughs> and all you to talk to them from the day they was born is what did he want to say? <laughs> what did he want to do? You you know you know how you been doing what they call it the nay nay or whatever it is that they doing. <laughs> They can do the day day or whatever that is because you taught that them. Mm -hmm. But they don't, they don't know the word of God because you don't know what you're saying. All right now. It's a generational blockout. Yes, a generational blackout. You got folks 60 years old talking about their boyfriend and their girlfriend. My, my, my. If you see them at that age, the Bible tell you don't even look for them. But if you can't, can't contain yourself and say you better get you a husband or get you a wife, you need, you need to have yourself in a position where God can use you. Amen? Amen. Amen. We wonder how, how, how people are getting rich off of our children, broke children, children in the ghetto, children living in a housing complex. And folks living in big tall houses, driving big fancy cars, wearing the best of suits and shoes, off of your children. That's right. That's right. Because you failed to teach them the things that are of God. Amen. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, and be not entangled with the yoke of bondage. When you, when you go out tomorrow and you see somebody in bondage, how, how, how's it going to feel? What are you going to think about? When you have an opportunity to talk to somebody that's in bondage, are you going to run off in the midst and be entangled with them in that bondage and then y'all talk to the conversation? It's okay to go in there where they're at. <laughs> but change the conversation. Yes, Lord. Yes, Brighten Lord. up the atmosphere. Thought. Let men and women see something other than what they know. Uh huh. Be not entangled 
again. Tell them, say, look, man, I remember when James Brown used to fascinate me. I remember when Tina Turner, with her long hips and short dress, used to pack my day. All right, now. But since I've been a Christian, I heard, I heard her sing that song and that she made plenty of money off of it. What's love got to do with it? Huh? In other words, what? She telling me I ain't got to love my husband. I ain't got to love my wife. It ain't got nothing to do with it. Because they've been violent to me. They've been mean to me. What's love got to do with it? But when I find out in the scripture that God said I'm little, Amen. that means love got everything to do with it. All right now. When I learn from the scripture that if my brother is overtaken in a fault and I'm spiritual, I need to restore such a one in the spirit of me because I could be all based just like them. Yeah. All right now. I could be the one needing that help. Stand fast in the liberty. If he didn't say, well, Richard Cape was made you free, you would have nothing to do. All right, now. You could keep on going that same course that you own. But he said, with the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. And I bid you, do not ignore what Christ has done for us. Don't count it for no. Because you know what? It's going, you're going to need it one day. That's right. You keep it up with the 401k. You keep it up with the bank accounts. You know what the balance is. You know what? You know everything. Keep up with your balance in Christ. All right, now. Yes, that's, good. Yes. that's what's going to take you through eternity, not just this life. Apostle Paul looked at the people in Corinthians and he saw that they were so tangled up and messed up in the world. And, and they, they wanted to do everything without Christ. With such a solemn, planted voice, he said, If in this life only we have hope. In other words, what? If all you can see is what you see out of your eyeballs. We are of all men most miserable. Why, why do you think the Bible says that the just live by faith? faith. Yes. In the Son of God who suffered and died for me, it was for a reason that you have a spiritual mind that you see with. The writer is pressing us that we do the things that are of God. Amen, amen. Entangled by choice, don't make good sense. Mm -mm. You're so smart, you're so wise, you don't make good sense to just lock yourself back up in jail when somebody paid you a bond. That's right. That's all right now. <laughs> it just don't make good sense. Okay. And if you follow the world, and do what the world doing, that's exactly what you're doing. Amen. That's exactly what you're doing. Let us, let us, let us think about how we have our liberty in who? In Christ. Let's look at Philippians 3. Philippians 3, chapter, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna knock all around that 15 verse. Okay? All right. Amen. 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 See, see, it's one thing believers need to have the same kind of mind. They need to be united in Christ. All this stuff, you know one thing? It ain't but one church. I don't care what you name the building you go to. That's it. It ain't but one church. So believers need to have the same mindset. How you gonna have a mind, same mindset? We all so different from each other. You're different because you choose to be. All right, now. Huh? You choose to be different. Ain't no different than you and nobody else. I used to say when I was in the world, I say, the man that don't use the bathroom and drink water, I got some respect for him. <laughs> Y'all know that, right? <laughs> you don't use, you don't drink water, you the bathroom, you a bad man in my eyes. <laughs> That's in the world, amen? Amen. But, but the writer 
says in, in the 15, in the third chapter, the 15 verse, let us therefore as many as be perfect, be thus minded. Yes, See now, now look, we tell our children not to have sex, but how are we going to tell them that and tell them that they can't? The imperfection in, in, in living a life, in maturity, we're going to tell them how to do stuff. Like when our kids, they used to tell us, they, uh, they tell us how to sow our oats, you know. They fix it up for you, the, the older people would. They wouldn't tell you not to. They would tell you that abstinence is, is the only way in Christ. Amen. Because you know what? They were doing so much themselves. Yes, Lord. They were, look, they, 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 I'm telling you, when I was growing up with a boy, I didn't know a man was supposed to have one woman. They were all over the neighborhood. Doing it in, in everything they could do. Have two or three families less than a mile apart. All right, now. But, but we run from the idea of perfection because it's going to require me to have a certain status. That's right. See, you can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. You can't say anything. You know, you know sometimes y'all tell y'all children that they can't have a certain friend because you know that the household down the street is not the right household. Mm -hmm. I don't want you down there. Don't you go down there. Because you know when they Johnny see, Johnny do. Pastor Bowman said like this, monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> if you know people are not living right, what you letting your child go down there for? What you letting them stay down there all day long? Because they like, I like Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> the writers say you, you got to have a mind that's going to make you better. Let us therefore as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything be otherwise minded, watch it now, mm -hmm. God shall reveal even this unto you. God going to show you what ain't right for your child. Right. What's not right for you? Now you can ignore it if you choose. But God is going to open it up because he look, Pastor Bowman said it this morning again, amen? That I'm, you're going to hide my word in your heart. That's why the word of God is going to be here. Mm -hmm. And you know what's going to happen? When you need it, it's going to pop up. Yeah. Say, yeah, there, there it is. What? There it is. Mm -hmm. If you got it in your heart, it's going to pop up. I can't tell you how many times I wouldn't have been standing here today if I didn't have something about the Word of God in my heart when I got into dire situations. The Word of God would pop up and say, oh, you put your foot over there if you want to. You ain't going to be able to put it back out like you put it in there. All right. <laughs> but the Word of God is what did what, what caused I was such a good boy because I was a rascal. My mama wouldn't let me get on the moment bank, get off the moment bank. Tell nobody I know Jesus and I'm still doing the same old junk that I was doing for the start. Perfection is what you're shooting for. You, you, I told some folks, they said, ain't nobody perfect. I said, what you spanking your baby for? <laughs> what, what you spanking that baby for? She turned the milk over, she did this, or she said that, or she did that, and you going to spank her? Let them go and don't curse you out. Ain't nobody perfect. Let them go and do whatever they're going to do. Ain't nobody perfect. But you're still trying to train them to be perfect. Amen? And you're going to live any kind of way in life. All right. You're going to tell them what they can't do, and you're going to get up and go do what they doing? Come on. How well is the love of God in you? Mm. Amen? God going to open up your mind and show you what you need to know. Nevertheless, whereunto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. We all ought to know what the rules are. And they all are in Christ. Let us mind the same thing. Yes, God. Yes, God. One neighbor tell that child it's okay to have sex long as they cover up. But the other one will tell that child don't do it. What, what are you going to do? Both of y'all set up in the same church. Both of y'all got the same past. But two different minds. These 
these things all not to be in Christ. Say that, Doc. Say that. Have, have it, have it, have it, have these same mind. Let us mind the same things. Brethren, be fathers together of me. Listen at this, 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 this guy. He got enough confidence in himself to know he's going to walk right. Amen? Amen? He tell them to be followers of me and mark them that them which walk so as ye have us. For an example, the apostles of Christ said they were following Christ. Do you have an example before you? An example, you know, I used to say it when I was in pre folk When the teacher tell you they want you to put your hand on the paper and draw your hand on the paper. I don't care how darn you are, you all can trace that over, amen? <laughs> Man, you can be super dumb. You can't put, put your hand on a piece of paper and run the press around your finger. You got a serious problem. And that's what Christ has did. He has given us a pattern to follow, and all we have to do is follow the pattern. Amen. Amen. <laughs> follow the pattern. <laughs> Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, the writer thinks it's critical enough for him to be crying about your status in Christ. Even now, I tell you weeping that they are enemies of the cross of Christ. Anybody that's not telling you to be obedient to God's word are enemies of the cross of Christ. Anybody that don't want to hear the word of God are enemies to the cross of Christ. Amen? Whose end? Look, this, this is why the brother crying. Because he know you're not gonna get by. You're not going to escape. The writer told the folks in Romans, he said, when they got to talking about Christ and how the folks were, 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 were drowning in the flood of Noah, how Solomon in the mind was destroyed. He said, How are we gonna escape if we neglect? Jesus Christ who suffered and died on the cross for the sin of the whole world. If we ignore God's Son, how are we going to get back? Why are we going to be justified doing any and everything in life if we ignore Christ? The people you know preached 120 years. Uh -huh. And the people didn't know him. Amen? They laughed at him, made fun of him. But guess who the last somebody they got to cry to? No, open up and let us in. What you said 120 years ago has now come to pass. He said, look, there ain't enough room in here now for y'all. Because <laughs> look, I ain't got no key to let you in. I love you dearly, but I, I can't let you in. God got the key. Mm -hmm. And when you get in the midst of God's wrath, you can see what's going on now. Yes. Don't wait until God's wrath is upon you and then your eyes come open. God already testified in the book of Revelation that men and women are going to be running, crying, rocks fall on us, mm -hmm. hide us from the faith. Little might say Jesus is coming back again. <laughs> Did y'all hear it? He coming back again. Rock, hide us from the faith of this man. Hide us. How are we going to make it if we neglect so great a salvation? For our conversation is in heaven. We talking about things of God, people. Can you, can you have that conversation on a day-to-day -day basis? Can you have your conversation in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior. Are you looking for a Savior? Check your conversation, amen? Amen. Check your conversation if you're looking for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He knows all things. Who shall 
Change our vow. Listen, listen, listen now. He shall change our vow by this, this old body that you've been crying about. My knees hurting, my back hurting, and this wrong with it, and that wrong with it, and oh, it's breaking out in a rash and whatever going on with that thing. If you prepare yourself, God is going to change you from that old vile body. Say that again. He's going he to give you a place where there ain't going to be no problem, no, no stress and strain. <laughs> but you can't ignore him. All right, now. If you ignore him now, you ain't going to even know to call on his name in that day. That's right. so. He is going to change our vile bodies. Amen? Amen. Change our vile bodies that it may be fashioned like unto well, everybody looking for that, right? A <laughs> glorious body. Hey, now I tell you what, if the men don't know nothing about no glorious body, I know these ladies that got to know. <laughs> huh? Man, them jokers are tall of that hair, they'll burn it over that way, and burn it over that way, and they ain't gonna be satisfied until it's in the right place. Amen? Amen. So they, they looking for some glorious body that got to be. So he shall change us and give us a glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things to himself. Yes. You, you think that's your life you live. You think you're doing what you want to do. Uh -huh. But God created you for him. He wants you to serve him. He wants you to wake up in the morning with them hurting knees and that hurting back and whatever going on and say, I thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, yes. I, I'm going to give you glory, Lord. You know what's going to happen? You're going to go to the day all day long and ain't going to know till the next morning that your back and knees is hurt. Amen. <laughs> because you, give it, you, you ain't got time to worry about your back. You ain't got time to worry about your aches and your pain. You got time to give God the glory. Amen. You exalted him and lifting him. Amen. 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 Yeah. Now, man, it, it, let's, let's look at that first verse in, in that fourth chapter. Say, Therefore, my brother, dear to be loved and longed for, my joy and crown. So stand fast in the Lord, my dear to be loved. Stand fast in the Lord. Make your haste. And let your daily deportment be in the Lord. Amen? He's the one that suffered and died for you. Just, just imagine, just imagine when Christ was hanging on the cross. You heard him talk about how the earth got dark. Mm -hmm. How you, you, you heard him. They didn't know what they, they one, one of the men stood by and know something was wrong. Because yeah. he said, look. Surely, sure sure it, it must be the Son of God. Amen. I've been helping cruise man with that. Look, something wrong with this picture of him. <laughs> Surely, this must be the Son of God. But, but God having that big, gigantic heart stop dying on the cross and say, Father, forgive, forgive them. For they know not what they do. Jesus knew that what his cause was coming into the world. He knew what his cause was. We need to know what our cause is. Amen? That we can glorify God. That we can magnify him. That, that, that we, can, we can be like Jesus. Amen? Amen. Huh? You, 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 can you imagine that, that, uh, telling God, say, God, glorify thou me like I was with you before the world began? And God replying to you, I have glorified you once. And I glorify you again because you have done what I asked you to do or what I told you to do. And God can tell you what to do. You know, we got a thing now. We want to ask our children, compromise with them and try to persuade them to be obedient. Amen? If you don't get your butt over there and do what I told you to do, the wrath is going to come down on you. <laughs> Because you know what's going to happen when you get out in the mall. Don't go come back, Johnny. Mm. Johnny going to keep on going where he want to go, doing whatever he want to do. Because he didn't have 
what God has said for us to have from the beginning. Train up a child in the way he should go. Huh? And it was a foundation for life, amen? What you're training your children right now is a foundation for life. Because the scripture said that when he is old, he will not depart. He will have, he and she will have a foundation to stand on. Amen? Amen. So as we stand on this foundation of Christ, that solid rock, as we represent his church that the gates of hell cannot prevail against, don't let the, 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 the stuff in the world get you tied up and tangled up till you can acknowledge your Lord and your Savior. Yes. Don't let it be a bound to you in that fashion. Because Christ was obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And it didn't finish death. They say he got up with how much power? All power. All power. Gee, will you, will you, will you, will, I might say he was, he was okay if he had to go, amen? But can you imagine getting up and when you get up, you look in the face of the one you've been serving, somebody that's got all power? See, it looked like the folk got all power now because they got a little money. Mm -hmm. Look like they got something that I need, something that I want. But the, the right is begging us not to compromise ourselves, our Christianity, our eternal life for the things of the world. Amen? Amen. He's begging you, please don't be entangled because it's what? It's a yoke of bondage. Yes, God. It's going to choke you out and kill you for sure if you allow yourself to be pulled into that way of life. Amen? Amen. Christ suffered and died on the cross. And look, what made it so glorious, somebody asked in, 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 the, in, in the prefix, say, Death, you a bad boy. <laughs> You've been doing some powerful stuff. Huh? Some of our best men is in the grave. But when Christ died, yeah. they had to talk back to Death, say, Death, where is your sting? Yes. Grave and holding folks ever since Lazarus. Grave, where is your victory? Christ got up and walked out and said, I got all power. All power. When you, when you dare serve a God that had all power, yes. I mean a big G God, capital G God, <laughs> equal to all tasks, amen? Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.